They were just here. We're in the right spot, buddy. This is worth it right here. He's gonna take one more step. They're just crazy tough, man. You cannot fake that. <laughs> it's no faking that. We are not on the Buffalo Ranch. It's <laughs> a blood spot right here where he was standing. He was pouring blood the whole way. Yeah. Stop. Oh. Look where we are. They can just take it. That thing is unbelievable how big those things are. We're just gonna go finish him off now. He's bleeding out both sides, but you know, we're right on top of him. He's not going anywhere, but. <sighs> Look how strong, like. Done. 
you know what they say about moose, you know, when a moose hits the ground, everybody, oh, now the work begins. That's only because they've never hunted bison. We're going to have to pull it through. We're going to have to pack them out. <laughs> well, that's the worst news I've heard all day. <laughs> Buddy, awesome. thank you oh, for sharing this with me, man. Thanks for inviting me. This is so different from any buffalo hunt that you read about or see about. Like, this is such a unique experience that you, you don't even know. It's normal to you, but I mean, I've, this is unbelievable. I've been waiting for a big one and- He's 19 inches long. This is him. There's gonna be some deduction on this side, I can tell you. Way shorter? <laughs> longer. Oh, he's longer, huh? <laughs> he's close to 20 inches long. I couldn't be any happier to have you here with me. Well, thanks for the invite, man. This is truly one of the one of the coolest things I've done in a long time, and just so unique. I mean, we are so remote. The weather is cold, and you just you just don't get to do this. This is just not something you get to do very often. Well, uh, Greg invited me up, and he said this was not going to be a typical buffalo hunt, and he did not lie. This thing was living up with a couple of doll rams, no BS, and uh, it's three times bigger than I thought it was gonna be, and we cannot get a snow machines anywhere near it, so it's, uh, you lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that it was you that actually spotted this bison on the side of the hill, because that means this hunt is a complete team effort, and that's special for me that, uh, that you were the guy that saw it. Well, I'm glad I saw him. I mean, given I can't ride a snow machine and he's the size of a small Ford truck, it wasn't that big of a deal, but uh, <laughs> it was everything you said it would be. And it's about to be a lot more work than you said it was gonna be. <laughs> We were unable to get the snow machines up here. It was just way too steep up the side of the mountain to get machines up here. So we brought the skimmer up by hand and we're gonna try to get as much meat of the down as we can in the skimmer. And then it's just gonna be a backpack from there. It could be very interesting as the slope gets steeper. There's a lot of weight here. We got some work, but that's okay. We'll get out of here eventually. And if it's just totally just let us know, just like bail. Watch, watch. One, two, three. We gotta stay low. go back and get the rest, bring it to here, and then figure a way to try to get this down to the snow machines. Because it's super steep here and there's no way that four guys can hold that back. So it'll be interesting, but we're just gonna go back up and get the rest. We've manhandled this well, half of the bison, which is in the skimmer right now, down to this point, but then it's just so steep. So we've got a long rope and we're just gonna belay it down probably two pitches and it should get down to the snow machine. It's just so steep every way and you just don't want to pitch it off the side. So this is about the only way to do it. Ha <laughs> ha! 